Hi, my name is Ted Kirby, and I'd like to introduce my brother, Peter. Peter, I'm so proud of you. Peter, thank you so much for all that you've done. You're welcome. Peter spent a year in, a year in Iraq with the National Guard. Peter, please tell us what your typical day was like in Iraq. Okay, my typical day was I worked the night shift, so I got up at 5 o'clock at night and I um, took a shower and I went over and ate chow and then I went over and reported to my station. Um, I got a briefing on the mission, mission that happened for the day and then I briefed my soldiers. I was running an operations center and um, we got on the radio and checked all that happened for that day. And then we basically monitored the battle of what happened, what was going on, and we reacted to anything that happened in the area of operations where we were at for the whole night. And I worked from 8 at night till 8 the next morning. Peter, what was it like being in Iraq? Uh, it was very strange being in Iraq. Um, they, pr they pray five times a day, number one, which is very strange. The, the horns beep on the car horns you can hear out in the towns around us. And they uh, they call them they call a prayer themselves five times a day, and that's one of the odd things. You really feel like you're in a different part of the world, and they call all their all the people to come out and pray five times a day. And uh, basically, you're in a big sandbox. That's what it feels like. There's very little vegetation, and um, it, it's just strange because you kind of you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything because you you have to stay on the the FOB where we're at the, the base. Yeah. What did you miss most while you were over there? Um, well, first of all, I miss my wife and my three beautiful children the most, I think. I really miss being part of their lives. And uh, I miss the, uh, the basic comforts of home, being able to get in a car and drive and go, do, go places and do, do things that, uh, you almost, that you can't do, that you just take for granted in everyday life. Did you feel that you were in any danger? Uh, yes, absolutely. We had to wear a 30-pound uh, uh, flak vest every day, and uh, we took a lot of mortar rounds on the uh, when we were walking back and forth from Chow and out to the, where I worked and around the place where we were at, uh, and even in the gym where we worked out, um, they were fired mortar rounds in at us, and uh, a lot of them exploded. A couple of guys got injured. Um, and then I did go off the, uh, the, F, the uh, base a few times and there was definite danger there, people with the uh, IEDs and uh, just the general population. Did you have a, a job that you were assigned to do every day? Yes, I was the night operations officer. Uh, every night I used to work from 8 to 8 and I was in charge of running the whole operations center for the division artillery in the, uh, for the base we were on. And what was the food like? Did you get any pizza while you were over there? <laughs> yes, I did have some pizza while I was over there. The food was very good. Um, the only thing was uh, I caught a little stomach thing, and uh, I, I, I still don't know what it is. I'm still kind of recovering from it now. But as far as the food, there was plenty of it, and uh, it, it was pretty good quality. And I did have pizza. We had pizza, I think, three times a week. We did have lobster three times a week. Uh, two times a week, I think, and, uh, and, and a lot of good food there. They, they prepare very well, and plenty of it. They say it's really hot over there. What was the average temperature? Um, you are correct. It is hot over there. Uh, I was in Kuwait for two months before I went up, and it was cold. I was wearing a winter jacket in January, so it gets chilly there. But once I got to Iraq, uh, the average temperature was 110 degrees during the day. And uh, even at night, it was, it was in the high 80s. So it is very hot there. How many people were in your unit? Uh, there's 150 people in my unit and uh, that on the base where we were at there were a lot more. But in my actual unit there was 150 uh, soldiers. Where were your sleeping quarters? Did you sleep in tents? Did you sleep inside or outside? Uh, we slept inside in uh, old World War II barracks. There was cement barracks with uh, two foot um, uh, thick uh, walls so when the mortars come in they wouldn't come into the building and kill us. Uh, very primitive but they were, uh, they were adequate. We had a bed and, and a mattress and 
Um, we actually had satellite TV in my room, which was pretty good. We had to pay the locals to come in and put it in. But uh, once we got that in, it, it did made us, it was great. We made it feel very comfortable like we were at home. But the strange thing about over there in, um, that people don't know is that the, the plumbing there uh, doesn't allow you to put toilet paper in the toilet, so you have to bring sandwich bags. And, and when you, you, when you um, use toilet paper, you have to put it in sandwich bags and put it in the trash. So the conditions weren't too bad, but um, the, uh, it's very primitive still over there. Thank you, Peter, for spending time with us today. We appreciate you going to Iraq, and I'm glad that you're back. Everyone, including me, is glad to have you back. And let's pray for all our soldiers that they come back safely. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'm proud to serve my country, and I'm glad to be home. It's, it feels very good to be home. I'm back Thank in normal life now. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome home. Thanks.